Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I am going to be doing up some air fryer funnel cakes. I found this recipe on the WW website. It looked really good. It is a two ingredient dough recipe and I love the two ingredient dough and doing different things with it. So I definitely wanted to try this one out when I saw it and I thought I would just take you guys along with me while I do this. We can all see how these turn out together. So I'll go over the ingredients really quick. There's just a few of them. As I said before, this is a two ingredient dough base. So you're gonna be needing a cup of fat-free plain Greek yogurt. This time I'm using the Chobani. I said in my grocery haul where I showed buying this that I found that this brand actually works the best out of the different fat-free Greek yogurts that I've used in the two ingredient dough. So sometimes I will buy this specifically to do the two ingredient dough, but you can use whatever type of fat-free plain Greek yogurt that you wanna use. So a cup of that, and then a cup of self-rising flour. So that's gonna be for the dough. And then in the dough, you're also gonna be needing a half teaspoon cinnamon and a teaspoon vanilla. And then that is it for the dough. You're also gonna be using a little, or needing a little powdered sugar to sprinkle these with when they're done. And then the recipe calls for cooking spray. I don't like using cooking spray in my air fryer because I heard that that's actually not good for it. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of olive oil and instead of the cooking spray. And that is everything that you're gonna be needing for this. So in a medium sized bowl here, you're gonna just take all your ingredients, starting with your flour, and add them in. So that's a cup of flour, a cup of fat-free Greek yogurt, half teaspoon cinnamon, teaspoon vanilla, and then you're gonna just mix all that together until it starts to form a dough. And then it says you can continue to kind of mix it with your hands for another couple minutes. And now on a piece of parchment paper, I'm gonna sprinkle a little flour and I'm going to work my dough, and this dough is really sticky. And when I make the two ingredient dough for things, I usually only use the three quarter cup Greek yogurt to prevent this right here. Um, but I wanted to follow the recipe exact, so I'm doing it with the proportions that they used, but it is, ending up being a really, really sticky dough, which I figured it would. So I'm gonna keep working this a little bit on the parchment paper, and then I will be back. Okay, I've got this dough, I think, where I want it. So now you're supposed to cut it into fours, which I'm gonna do. And then you're supposed to take each fourth and break that into six pieces and then take each one of those six and roll it out into it says an eight to ten inch rope you need a little more flour because the dough is still sticky so I'm going to roll them out into eight to ten inch ropes all right, now that I've got those all rolled out, you're supposed to kind of just loosely pile them on top of each other. Like that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do that same thing with the last three here. I've got these all done and I've got my air fryer preheated to 375, so now I'm gonna take two of them and put them in my basket. And I'm just using a silicone liner in my basket. Recipe says to spray cooking spray on the bottom of the basket, but I'm not going to because I've got my liner here. So I'm gonna just set two of these in the basket. And actually, I'm gonna put all four of mine in because it's big enough to do all four. 
And then I am gonna spritz the tops of these with a little olive oil spray. And then I'm gonna cook these for so that's five minutes at 375. I'm gonna check mine probably at four though, just to be on the safe side because my air fryer cooks a little faster than most, I think. But I'll be back once these are done. Here they are at five minutes. I'm thinking they are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them out, put them on a plate and let them cool just a little bit before I dust them with the powdered sugar. Okay, I let these cool just a couple of minutes so that the powdered sugar doesn't melt on them, hopefully. And then it says to take one and a half tablespoons of powdered sugar and dust them with that. So I've got a tablespoon in here, actually a little over. I'm gonna just dust these with the powdered sugar. And I still got quite a bit left, but I think that's more than enough powdered sugar as far as I'm concerned. So I'm not gonna use the whole one and a half tablespoons, but that is what they look like. They smell really good. Okay, I'll have my hubby try one of these. Let us know what they what he thinks. They smell good, don't you think? Yeah. Powdered sugar. <laughs> it's in your beer. <laughs> it's all good. That's what I'm saying. I don't think you need the whole one and a half tablespoons of powdered sugar on those, but I'll close up in there. Yeah, it tastes good. Is the dough done? Mm-hmm. Okay. You don't sound totally thrilled. Not your favorite? No, it's not bad. It's not knock your socks off. What's in them? It's just the two ingredient dough and then it's got vanilla and cinnamon and then the powdered sugar. Yeah, so it's so. got just a... It's got a real light taste of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. maybe so maybe more that. maybe more cinnamon? Yeah, so that's... I mean, it tastes good. Mm -hmm. Especially the powdered sugar on there. Mm -hmm. And the two ingredient pizza dough really actually makes a, a nice base for a dessert like that. But more cinnamon. More flavor. Okay. More cowbell. More cowbell? Mm -hmm. okay, okay. I was actually thinking when I was looking at that that uh, half a teaspoon didn't sound like a whole lot of cinnamon to me either, but I wanted to follow it as they had it. So yeah, um, I guess more cinnamon. You could add other stuff to this too. Maybe even a little bit of salt. Well, there's salt in the self-rising flour. Yeah, how many points? They're four points. Yeah. They're not a bad size. That's true. So four Does points. Does the powdered sugar add points? Um, yes. I don't know how much off the top of my head because it's only a tablespoon and a half and I didn't, I probably used half a tablespoon for that right there. Yeah. So not a lot, honestly, I wouldn't think. I think if I had a little stronger cinnamon flavor, I'd say that was worth four points. Okay. So but you can tell it's a, I don't think it would be say an, hi, Rocky. an, an Rocky. insubstantial um, hi. dessert. Okay. Well, let me try a bite because now I'm curious. Let's see what I think. I'm trying to get flour on my camera or flour, powdered sugar. Yeah, that's good. But I see what you're saying. It needs more, yeah. more cinnamon. Just a little bit. So I would, I would personally. It is really good though. I would personally bump that up to a teaspoon instead of the half. I think that would probably give it enough. Um, but yeah, they're good. I think that's worth four points if you're looking for something a little sweet. Pretty good. All right, guys. That is. Weight Watchers, Air Fryer, Funnel Cakes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you as always for watching and we'll see you on the next one.